Hi, welcome to Tiny Talkers. My name is Brenda and I'm a speech language pathologist. On this channel we talk all things speech and language, so if you have a little one or you're in the field, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Last week I posted a video on speech and language development from newborn all the way to one years old. So this week I'm going to talk about speech and language development for toddlers from the ages of one years old all the way to five years old. As an SLP, I meet with so many parents who are concerned with how many words their child is saying or what exactly they should be looking for to make sure that their toddler is developing on time. So now I'm going to talk about the different milestones that you should be looking for in your toddler to make sure that they are meeting all their milestones on time. When looking at language, we look at two different components. First, we have receptive, which is what we understand of language, and then we have expressive, which is how we use language and how we express ourselves. So I'm gonna be referring to both of those components as I talk about each age group. First, we're gonna talk about the receptive milestones for one to two year olds. At this age, toddlers should be able to identify body parts. So this means when you ask them, where's your nose, they can point to their nose. Where are your eyes, they can point to their eyes. This doesn't mean that they're labeling yet, like they're saying eyes, nose, just means that they're identifying. They should also be able to follow one step directions, like sit down or give me the box. They should also understand simple questions. So if you say, who's that? They can say, daddy, or where's your book? And they can point to their book. At this age, they should also be able to listen to short stories or simple songs. So they should also be able to point to pictures in a book when you name them. So if you say, where's the dog? They can point to the dog. Where's the cat? They can point to the cat. Expressively from one to two years old, you want to start noticing a lot of new words. You also want to notice that they're using words that include the sounds for P, B, M, W, and H. At this age, toddlers should also be naming pictures. So if maybe if you're reading a book together, they should be pointing and saying dog, cat, book, and labeling pictures. They should also be asking simple questions like, where's mommy, what's that? And they should also be putting two words together like buy mommy, more milk, hi daddy. Now we're gonna talk about the receptive goals from two to three years old. At this age, they should be understanding opposites. So like big and little, up and down, go and stop, at this age, toddlers should also be understanding two-step directions. So if you tell them, get the ball and put it in the bin, they should be able to do that. They should also be learning new words very quickly. Now we're going to talk about the expressive milestones from two to three years old. At this age, toddlers should have a name for everything. So whatever it is they're pointing to, they should have some sort of name to it. They should also be able to talk about things that are not in the room. So let's say they have an orange ball and the orange ball is not in the room that they're in. They should be able to talk about that ball and refer to that ball even though they don't see it. From two to three years old, you want to make sure that they're using words that have the sounds of K, G, F, T, D, and N. They should also be understood by people that are unfamiliar to them. Between the ages of two and three years old, a toddler should also be asking the questions why, and they should be using prepositions like in, on, and under. At this point, toddlers should also be using three words when talking, so I want cookie, I want more. They should also be able to repeat some words and sounds. Now we're gonna move on to the ages of three and four years old. So receptively, what we're looking for at this age is that a toddler responds to their name when they're called from another room. Even though we know most toddlers won't do that, it is a milestone. They should also be able to understand certain colors and shapes as well as words for family. So if you say mother, grandfather, sister, or brother, they should understand what that means and who they are. Expressively from three to four years old, we expect that a toddler is able to answer WH questions like who, what, and where. They should also be able to say rhyming words like bat and cat and use pronouns like I, you, me, we, and they. At this age, they should also be using some plurals and asking when and how questions. From three to four years old, you want to see that they're using four words in a sentence, that they're able to talk about their day, and they're able to use four sentences at a time. At this point, they should also be understood by most people. Now we're gonna talk about receptive milestones from four to five years old. So at this point, toddlers should be able to understand time. So they should understand today, yesterday, and tomorrow. They should also understand words for order, like first, next, and last. At this point, they should be able to follow long instructions. So if you tell them, brush your teeth, put on your shoes, and get your book bag, they should be able to do so. 
at four and five years old, you want to make sure that they're able to follow directions at school and that they're understanding whatever it is that they're hearing at home and at school. Expressively at four and five years old, what we're looking for is that they're able to say most speech sounds. They might still make some errors on harder sounds, but they're able to produce most speech sounds. At this point, they should also be able to talk without repeating sounds and words. So at this age, your toddler should be able to name letters and numbers, they should be able to keep a conversation going, and they should also be able to use sentences with more than one action word. As an SLP, those are the milestones that we're looking for in the toddler years. If you see that your toddler is not reaching their milestones, then consider talking to your pediatrician or reaching out to an SLP. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to hear more speech and language videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications. For more tips and tricks, follow me on IG. I'll put my hands on the screen and I'll see you all next week.